All right. Uh, thanks for all of y'all being here. Uh, very excited about the uh, start of the uh, new season. It's always a great time when the players come in and build for the first time, and uh, it's been awesome with them so far. Uh, obviously, the players that are coming back from last season and also the new additions. Uh, there's a lot of great energy. There's been a lot of good football dialogue. Uh, we're all uh, optimistic and excited about the possibilities for this next season. And so uh, it's been a great, they're a great crew, and uh, we're excited for uh, the work ahead of us. We know that uh, there's a lot of ground to cover, um, but that's also the exciting part about what we do. And so um, with that, I will uh, take some questions. Thanks, Coach. And the floor is open if anyone wants to start us off. I can start. Hey, uh, welcome back. Um, Mike came from the Charlotte Observer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what went into, obviously, um, the coaching staff switches up. Um, you had your, your interviews for head coaching jobs. What went into the decision to have you return? And also, um, everybody on your staff also returned. How, how beneficial is that to the future of this program? Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot that goes on at that time of the year. Um, I'm very uh, grateful and thankful for the opportunities that I got to interview for these head coaching jobs, and I don't take those lightly. And I know that it, those are things that are a blessing. Coming back here was uh, I'm very fortunate that Dave and uh, Dan and Mr. Tepper gave me this opportunity to come back here um, again. Like these positions are so highly coveted, and uh, it's an honor to be a, a NFL defensive coordinator, especially here, being in this community. Uh, my family loves uh, living here. Um, we're, we're really finally settled in and uh, enjoying it. Uh, the, um, the organization has been fantastic. The players here, I really, really, really love the players that we have here and uh, just working with them on a daily basis. And so from that standpoint, a lot, a lot of uh, that decision was very easy. Our staff being back is uh, such a huge blessing. I don't think in my entire uh, NFL career have I ever been on a staff at whether, whatever uh, role I had where the entire staff came back. And so like that really never happens. And from that standpoint, it's a huge, huge blessing. I think that gives us a big a step forward and uh, understanding how like, because I think one thing that always gets overlooked is like, we always talk about how teams have to come together and how the players have to come together. And there's really no different for, uh, for the coaching staff. And so already having our rhythm, already having our flow, uh, it's such a huge advantage for us. And so um, this year is uh, off to a great start. And then uh, if I could follow up, you, you bring in Jordan Fuller, you've got Ashawn Robinson, Josie Jewell. How much does having those guys, Nick Scott, guys that have a background with you and the staff um, kind of not miss a beat when you go into the offseason program and OTAs and training camp? Yeah, no, that, no that's a big part of it. Uh, you know, the first part is that those guys are all very, very good football players. So that's the first, first and foremost. They're smart. They're tough. They're instinctive. They play hard. They're great teammates, and so from that standpoint, they uplift your team. And, uh, you know, the defense is going to be a little bit different than how we played it in Denver, how we played it um, at the L.A. Rams. And so from that standpoint, there's always going to be a little bit of an adjustment. But uh, having those guys on our team right now is uh, such a huge step forward for us. All right, let's go to Dave Newton. Hey, Coach, David Newton, uh, ESPN. Glad to have you back here. Um, Good to see you, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, you too. I just wanted to ask, I mean, it was a lot of talk about getting Clowney, how key that was because you lost Brian Burns. First of all, what were your thoughts on seeing Brian traded and, and how how did that impact the importance of what y'all did with adding Clowney and, and one of them and the other pieces? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, had a great, great experience with Brian. Brian is first and foremost a, a great guy. He's fun to be with. He's a great player, talented player. And uh, we, we had a good year with them, and, uh, but that's the nature of what we do. Uh, I, you know, I, I have full trust in Dan and, and Dave to make those decisions that are going to be in the best interest of our team. And, uh, you, you know, that's the nature of the beast. It's, the team is never going to be the same from one year to the next. And so um, this is where we are now. And uh, I'm so excited about JD's as he goes by. Uh, obviously, we all know his track record. But the play style is what I'm really excited about. The guy just plays hard. He's physical. He's tough. He plays the way we want to play. Uh, I know there's a, a lot of comfort for him being closer to home there, his family. And uh, he's, been, he's been great these first couple of days uh, going through the offseason program. 
love having his energy in the building and talking to him in uh, the meeting rooms and uh, the insight and feedback that he gives to the younger players. So we're off to a great start, and we're really excited about what he's going to bring for our team. Is it fair to say that that maybe you have more pieces now than, it, Brian aside, more pieces now than you had last year to do what you want to do? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if this, if this is the time to, to gauge that, but the one thing I will say is that I'm really, really, really excited about the group of guys that we have right now. It's like it, it's these last first four days have just been really exciting, and we know that we got a lot of good football players, talented football players, but also just the football dialogue. I, you know, I, I feel like the football dialogue that we have right now is at such a high level from all the different position rooms when we get together collectively, and so it's exciting. And that's for me, uh, with Derek uh, getting the, the big extension, uh, what was the message that sent to you and you think to the rest of the team by getting Derek Brown extended and, and making him a focal point of what you want to be? Well, I think the message for Derek is uh, about Derek is that great, guy, great guys that are talented players that work hard and do things the right way get rewarded. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, when I think about going back to this time last year when we first got with Derek, the development that he's had as a player, as a person, you know, it's really interesting. Today we're, I was in a defensive line meeting room with Coach Wash and a D lineman, and Derek is in there, and he's uh, Wash will ask him a question about a technique, and Derek is in there coaching it up. And it's just amazing to see the growth that this young man has had. Uh, obviously the tape and the film and the, uh, the, the production speaks for itself. But uh, really, really happy for him, and he's uh, obviously earned that uh, extension. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, David. Right, let's, go to, let's go to Darren Gantt. EJ, is there a particular area after all these changes, and the changes have been pretty substantial, where you think you guys are almost better equipped this year compared to last year? Well, I, I wouldn't say better equipped, but – I feel so much better about our starting point compared to last year, just with uh, the experience and knowledge and foundation of the system. Uh, every player that we have has been in, uh, most of the players that we've had uh, have been in some version of our system with the same dialogue and uh, language and communication skills. And so um, from that standpoint, uh, I, we are a lot further ahead than we were this time last year. It's specifically with uh, Ashawn, I mean, how much of a difference does somebody that size make toward the run defense? Big difference, big difference. Uh, when you think about Ashawn and Derek and uh, Shy, it doesn't get any bigger than that in terms of uh, having a big front, guys that are physical, that could play the run game, guys that are very, very intelligent, uh, understanding angles and uh, blocking schemes and things of that nature. And so, uh, yeah, we are excited about where our run defense could go this year. Right, let's go to Joe Person. Hey, Gerald. Thanks for doing this. How you doing, Joe? I'm good. Thank you. I uh, wanted to ask you about the cornerback room. Obviously, you lose Dante. You sign Dane. Um, do you envision Dane as a starter, or do you think that's a position you guys may address in the draft or late free agency? Well, Dane started uh, quite a few games for Buffalo last year. I've had a lot of love for Dane coming out of college. Uh, we, it's funny because uh, when I first called him uh, at the start of the free agency process, uh, he's had my number saved from when we had spoken from him coming out of college and so when we did an interview. And, uh, and uh, he is a, this guy is an instinctive player. He's tough. He's productive. He's done it, uh, he's done it really his whole life, he played at a high level and uh, overcome uh, what others have, have, have always thought of him. And so uh, – I'm excited about what he's going to bring to our defense, and um, he's going to be a big part of what we do. When Clowney was on here a couple of weeks ago, he was sort of lobbying for uh, Stephon Gilmore. Of course, they have a history. Wondering your thoughts on, on Gilmore. Huge fan. I've always been a huge fan of uh, Stephon. Uh, great player over his career. You know, his, uh, his track record speaks for itself. Uh, but uh, I can only speak to the guys that are on our team right now, but I am a huge fan of his. Thank you. All right, let's go to Cassidy Hill, followed by Mike K. Hey, EJ, how's it going? Good. How you doing, Cassidy? Good. Bring in Josie Jewell during free agency. When you look back at just his career, the best career or best season he's had was when you were his defensive coordinator in Denver. 
What, what kind of just production and, and does he bring to that linebacker room? Well, Josie is an instinctive player. He's tough. He's physical. He can tackle. Uh, he would attest, and I've seen it firsthand, the job Peter Hansen, Coach Hansen, has done with him. And uh, so I'm glad that those two get to reunite and be in the same room together. But we're excited about uh, seeing what Josie, along with Shaquille, are going to do uh, work and, and playing together. Uh, we're talking about two high-level communicators, two smart players, two guys that are great leaders, uh, could run the huddle. And so, like, it's, you know, you're always trying to have just one of those guys on your roster, and we have two. So that's really, really exciting for us. EJ, uh, this back again. Um, I guess my my question at safety is obviously Vaughn's not here anymore, but Xavier Woods is. How much does X kind of bring that room together? I know you've already talked about how great of a communicator he is, but when you're we've got all these moving parts at corner and safety coming in, how much do you have to rely on him throughout this offseason program and beyond? Yeah, he's a big part of what we do, and so he's. Uh, we're always going to be relying on him. And uh, what's exciting is that, like, that's why this part of the year is so important because it's. Uh, we're not doing anything on the field, but the secondary players and really all the positions just getting on the same page, communicating, working through problems. Uh, as much as we try to make this the game black and white, we know there's going to be areas of gray, and that's why, especially in the secondary room, especially in the safety position to have the guys that can communicate, that could think through problems, could be problem solvers, uh, and Xavier is an example of that. Right, let's go to Christian Otisirk, followed by David Newton. Hey, AJ, how are you? Good, how you doing, Christian? Doing good, buddy. Um, with the draft being so close, what kind of conversations have you and Dan had about upgrading through the draft, given no first round pick? And is there any specific position you'd like to see you guys get stocked up on via the draft yeah the, the dialogue of players and in, in the draft and upgrading our team is always ongoing and uh there's a lot of very very good football players in this draft that we're excited about i can't say any one position you look at all the positions there's good players there and uh we're excited about you know the potential of uh, upgrading our roster but we're also very excited about where our roster is right now Yeah, again, one more question. I wanted you to know what your impressions were of uh, Dave Canales so far, and, and what's he bring to this organization that may have been missing? Well, I'm excited about having Dave here. Uh, he is, uh, first of all, a good man. He's uh, we've had nothing but great communication since uh, uh, we first, since he first uh, got hired, and uh, I love his energy. Uh, you know, there's a good, good energy in the building right now, and that's a big part. He's a big part of that, obviously. And uh, I'm excited about what uh, we're going to do together, uh, competing against him for many, many years uh, when I was at the Rams, when he was at Seattle, and then obviously even last year. I think he does a great, great job uh, schematically. His offenses are always hard to play against, and so uh, uh, I'm glad that we're on the same team. Did, did he have to give you any kind of a good sell job to, to say, hey, this is why I want you here with me, or or did you feel that right away? Well, no, when he first got hired, uh, we had great dialogue about just the vision of the team, and uh, um, and once we uh, kind of just got together and sh had shared thoughts and talked through some things, it it felt like the right fit. Appreciate it. We got time for a few more. Let's go to Joe Person and finish up with Cassidy Hill. Uh, Gerald, going through what you did the last two seasons in, in Denver and then Charlotte with interim coaches and, and so forth, how do you think that's helped form you, I guess, as a, a person? Or how has it impacted you as a person and a coach? Well, uh, honestly, Joe, like the last two years uh, have presented things in my career that I have never seen before, I've never experienced, but like just like any other time in in your career, whether as a player or a coach, it's like everything's a learning example, and uh, you just use the, all of those learning examples as a you know a good catalog for growth and uh, self improvement, and then that's just the way I viewed it. And so, uh, like any other experience, you know, you just try to learn from things and try to be better, and uh, I'm always striving to do that. Wanted to ask you too about losing uh, Frankie in free agency. You would you were talking about energy with Canales uh, a second ago. 
how do you replace Frankie's energy? Is there, is there a guy you think that maybe was kind of like deferring to Frankie, if you will, that you, you're looking forward to see stepping up? Yeah, uh, you know, Frankie, I can't speak uh, highly enough of, of a player. I, I really, really love Frankie and love the player he was, love the person that he was, and uh, will forever be uh, uh, in debt to him for just wh what he meant to me and uh, how he helped our team. Uh, but, you know, as we talked about with Burns, the show m moves on, and uh, we're always moving forward in terms of what's best the uh, best for the roster and best for our team. And, uh and uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of opportunities for people to uh, to p fill that void. And we have a lot of guys that are vocal that can play with juice and play with energy that I feel will will be good in that uh, from that standpoint. Oh, my turn. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, looking at Jordan Fuller, I mean, he went from six rounder to a starter his rookie season just right away. I know you were his position coach that year. What was it from what you can remember that, that sort of stood out and ushered him into that starting role and how much of just your history with him was why he is here now? Uh, yeah, Jordan is a very talented player. Uh, I think what really separates him is uh, he's very intelligent and uh, he is very confident and he's not a very, very loud person but he's got he's so self-assured and has such belief in himself and just as importantly he believes in his teammates and uh, so I, that allowed him to come in day one and uh, uh, he, he works meticulously at it so he's he's gonna learn what he needs to learn he's gonna be ready to execute his assignments he's gonna put in the work in terms of taking care of his body and uh, he's very confident in his ability to get things done and so uh, uh, that's why he's had the success he's had in the league all right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you all.